Hi everyone, first and foremost, by no means am I any kind of makeup guru, but since I've been doing my nails for myself for three decades, is it close to that? No, not quite that long. Maybe not quite that long. Um, there's a couple of tricks and tips that I have found, so I'm just going to pass them on. I figure since I'm going to do my nails and I already have one base coat on, um, and let me show you the nail polish that I'm using. It's Funky Fingers. And you've seen this color before if you're a um, subscriber of mine. It's Violet Vineyard. It will focus. It will. Because it knows it needs to. That's its job. And... Wow. It really does feel like it's Good Friday for it. There you go. Thank you for doing your job. Violet Vineyard. Funky Fingers. So I have one base coat, and it's all. if you're right-handed, it's always easier to do your left hand. If you're left-handed, it's easier to do your right hand. However, after years of practice, you do get comfortable enough to do both. A little less steady, possibly, on the left hand for righties and vice versa. So this is what I do. Um, I place the nail polish bottle in between the finger that I'm painting, except I think the thumb. I tend to... Um, I'm going to put another coat on right live or with you. So I tend to do the thumb by resting it on my hand. So it's kind of um, freewheeling in the air. And the way the brushes are shaped, it lends itself to when you press down to really go into like the edges. If you get to if you get um, color in your cuticles, you can always um, wipe that off later with a little Q-tip. So it's see, I got a little right there. I'm gonna wait till it sets up, and then I'm just gonna take it off gently. And then what I do is I pop the nail polish bottle in between the finger that I'm painting. That way, since these are still slightly moist, I mean um, they're not completely set up. I want to keep them separated. Keep them separated. Yeah, I did just sing. It's okay. And then, um, I don't know if you noticed that, but I, when I dip the brush in, I scrape the plastic part before I get to the actual brush. And then I always edge brush one side um, against the bottle top because I don't want too much nail polish on the end of the brush. You want to have just enough to do a coat and on longer nails and bigger nails you'll just you need to go and in again. Some colors really benefit with two coats. Um, I think this one definitely does. It's a little, tra I mean, if you want a little bit of a transparency from one coat, I think this one looks just a little uh, transparent for me. I like the opaqueness of, are you even seeing my nails? I just didn't, I didn't even realize to look up at the camera. Hopefully you're seeing them. So now I have the last one to do on this hand. And again, it's going to be slightly awkward because I have the camera overhead but you'll get the idea. And it's always easier to do the second coat because you have a good base already going. And my nails aren't too long right now. They're just the... See, you could see the difference between um, a one coat and two coats. So I'm going to do, um, I am going to close the nail polish bottle one more time and just shake it up. Some have a little ball inside to help with the agitation, uh, especially colors that separate, um, any that have glitter or any multicolor processing. I do like this color a lot. And it does remind me of spring and it being 
Passover and Easter weekend, it's perfect. So again, I place the bottle in between two fingers. I just find it easier for me that way. And if you don't feel like you're steady enough to do this, like you have a steady hand enough to do it, practice. Practice with clear. Or you can always cheat yourself to a manicure. I mean, I really can just go and have a manicure done, but most of the time, I, I would say probably 90% of the time, my nails are polish-free. And that's really the only thing I do for my nails is I try to let them breathe naturally without nail polish. But on occasion I put nail polish on. And it seems like every time I do a video that I have nail polish on, I get more comments, so I don't know. Is that my own little market study research? You tell me, do you prefer my videos with or without nail polish, or do you even care? If you don't care, you could say that too. I'm open. I'm open to constructive criticism. The key component of that is constructive. So now that I have this done, um, this one's pretty shiny, so I don't think I'm going to put a top coat on. And actually, I don't think I have a top coat that's not dried out. So there's that. So I guess for the next few days, you'll see videos with me with this color on. So it's Funky Fingers of Violet Vineyards. I got it at five and below. They were three for ten dollars. And I got a couple of, uh, the. I think the other two that I got, one is a much, much deeper purple and one was is with glitter. And I loved the glitter one. However, it's a colossal pain in the tuchus to take off. It's just not uh, not removal friendly. So there you go. And then one quick thing I wanted to share. Since, since it's Passover, my husband came home yesterday with a little box from Silver Dahlia in Glastonbury, Connecticut, and he gave me this. I probably should have shown this beforehand, but let's see if I could do it with my knuckles without ruining everything. So I'm going to put it on my chain. He was so excited. He called me. He said, I got something for you. Isn't that pretty? It's a sterling star of David. Oh, my nail polish on my hand. Oh, and my little space heater just turned off. So there you go. Quick and unusual share for for me, for my channel. But there you go. I do love this color. And my, I'm not going to have nail polish on for very long once full-blown gardening season starts. So I'm going to indulge now. If you have any questions for me, leave me a comment. Um, if um, you do wear polish... Show me. Show me your nails. I know some people are not comfortable doing videos, but you could do some stills. So, um, you know, provide a link of where we can find your, your fabulous looking nails. I'd love to see. What's your favorite color? I've been really tending to purples and really dark ones, but I'm kind of enjoying this one. So we'll see how long this lasts. Thanks for watching, everyone.